Okay, so uh, question two, find the first two terms in the expansion of that in ascending powers of x and state the values State the values for which this expansion is valid. And quite a few people missed that we have to do that bit as well. Um, in core four, we know that if we're doing a binomial expansion, the first thing you need to do is to get it so you have a one at the start of the bracket. So we need to take the nine out as a factor of the bracket. Now, what we're doing here is staying inside the power of 3 over 2. So it's going to be 9 lots of 1 minus 16 ninths of x, all to the power of 3 over 2. Can we see that step? We've taken the 9 out, multiply through that bracket inside, 9 times 16 over 9 gives you the 16x. Now, the power is applied to everything inside that square bracket. So that is 9 to the power of 3 over 2 times 1 minus 16 ninths of x to the power of 3 over 2. 9 to the power of 3 over 2, that would be the square root of 9 cubed. So that would be 3 cubed, which is 27. We've then got 1 minus 16 ninths of x that we're expanding, which is going to be 1, plus n times x, so plus 3 over 2 times minus 16 ninths of x plus n times n minus 1, 3 over 2 times n minus 1 is a half, divided by 2 times minus 16 over 9 x squared. And then the expansion would go on by that I suppose. So we've got 27 lots of 1. Don't lose the minus sign in here, we've got 3 well, the 3 would cancel with the 9, and the 2 would cancel with the 16 to end up with 8 over 3 x. When it comes to the mark scheme for this, that bit there gets you one mark, 1 minus 8 over 3 x. Your second mark is for the method in working this bit out. The third mark is for actually getting the right thing there, which would be, what was it, 32 over 27? x squared. And then the expansion will go on. And the fourth mark is for 27. Multiply through here and we're going to get what, 72. Multiply through there, we're going to get 32x squared. And so it goes on. So that and that only is where the fourth mark comes from. Remember the question said, state the values of x for which the expansion is valid. <coughs> It's valid for whatever the x term that we've done the expansion on. It's not the original x term. It's whatever we've actually done the expanding on. That bit is going to be between minus 1 and plus 1. So our minus, or our 16 ninths of x is the bit that has to be between minus 1 and plus 1. And we need to end up writing this in terms of x. So if we multi multiply through by 9 over 16, we get x between minus 9 sixteenths and plus 9 sixteenths. You can write that in modulus form if you want to. But that was the fifth and final mark, was for writing that. And again, that and that alone had to be the thing you would like to know. Other variation of that. Quite a lot of us lost one mark at the end of the night. Thanks, James.